Yeah, the pressure's on. Well, the game that we're going to be watching is an elimination game, okay? Between Never Give Up, which oh. I'm very excited <laughs> about to see what he's all about, and then Crew SC Nanad 10. They, they both look they're like... Bo they're both one in three. They both look like standout members of society, you know, look just top guys. Nice smiles for the camera. Just top men, but one of them's going out. Uh, so we're watching an elimination game. Who do you like in this one? Somebody's back's against the wall. You see how they perform now. Never give up his, was 0-3. I think uh, Crew came from 1-2 and 2 down to 1-3, and 3, so he had a little bit of a chance to feel the taste of victory. Now Never Give Up's maybe got a little bit more momentum going into this one. Never Give Up's just beaten the Royal. He's just knocked out the Royal 6-3, which is big. Yeah, I watched a good portion of that game. He um, played well. Whereas Crew lost to uh, Sydney FC Samer 5-3. So one's coming off the back of a loss. That's right. Never Give Up, the name must mean something. I'm tipping him. I'm going to go with uh, Nanan. I mean, he is one of the OGs of the FIFA community. I mean, he was uh, an FIWC champ years ago, uh, back in the day. Um, so I think he's going to rely on his experience here to see this one out. I think experience is what matters in situations like this. And that's what he has. For all of you joining us, this is an elimination game. Both of these players are one in three. It's a two-legged affair. This is leg one. We have never give up. In the red, going from left to right. And Nanad wearing the crew jerseys, going from right to left. They lose this game. It's Their over. Chance, they go home. The chance of getting in the grand final is gone. The, the season's over. Yeah, it really is. There's nothing left for them. They'll just get to watch on the couch just like us. Imagine getting this far into the playoffs. This isn't even the cruelest way to go out. There'll be some people that go out in the last game tomorrow. I think that's <laughs> that's more cruel yeah. going out in the last or game. Or in the last 32. But, but last, so, okay, yeah, last oh. 32, that's even worse. But that's let's say you losing on the first day, though. You know, you just want to give yourself a chance to get to qualification. But at least then you can say, maybe I wasn't of that level. Like, if you lose in the last 32, you could have been one goal away. From yeah, the in the you're final. right. Okay. Once you're in the final, I anything that can happen. It is. That, that's a little more heartbreaking. I hope they enjoy their stay in Amsterdam. That's pretty much what we're saying. Sure say. they will. There's plenty of ways to enjoy it. <laughs> Some good early possession here from Nanad. Still on the peripheral, though. No, no uh, telling passes into dangerous areas just yet. Nice Bullet ball here ball. doing his thing. Oh, he's kept it on. Good composure. Nice. Messi. It's always nice to see eight guys in the box. Jose Mourinho would be very proud. Risky passes there from Never Give Up. There's such a, think about like when he's made that, he's decided to go with that as his name. It's a strong statement. You know, it's not a, like a name, name like Gorilla, it's not his actual name, it's literally just a phrase. He really must live by that slogan, Never Give Up. I wonder if he's or got a tattoo to match. Name. Yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe that's his name. Maybe his name's Never Give Up. <laughs> <laughs> Could be his name. That'd be something. Vieira on the ball in the red for never give up. One two with Ronaldo loses the ball though. And a lot now, of short uh, passing there. And Nanad has got a chance to break away. Good passing, 94, 95 percent respectively. Shows when they get the ball, they're going to hold on to it. Yeah, Pep Guardiola would be very proud of that. I don't know if anybody noticed the color coordination between the, the crew jersey and the headphones uh, that he's wearing. Uh. It's very nice, I have to say. Definitely planned. Marcelo, left back, plays it into Ronaldo. Fellow Brazilian turns, tries to pull it back to Hullet on the edge of the box, but it's the other Hullet who intercepts it. Oh, this is going to be a very tight match. I mean, nobody can seem to break through that final, uh, with that final pass. Um, lots of possession here, and I'm sure you're going to see Never Give Up go on a nice possession spree right now. Uh, but hopefully we do see it. Uh, I think this game really needs a goal before the half because it could be kind of tight. Marcelo, Hullet. Vieira, it's a good interception again. This similar edge of the D passes, just not making it through for either team right now. Patrick Vieira for never give up, only with an 83% pass completion rate. It's quite poor by the Frenchman's standards. I think they do uh, both do a good job in transition, getting a lot of guys back behind the ball defensively. It's going to make it harder to find those entry passes at the top of the box that everybody likes to start their attacks. It's a ropey one, but it's because everyone knows this is an elimination game, you know. You, that those risk, the risk takings at a minimum. No one really wants to concede this first goal. They're going to start to think they're going home. So that's why you're seeing the play oh. break down. Oh. Oh, that's a fantastic finish there from Never Give Up. 
Lovely turn, fist bump from him. He'll be happy with that. Yeah, I think it's pretty important to score the first goal. Whether that holds up or not, most likely not, but it's still, let's get that confidence going to build on that momentum from him getting his first win over Royal. Yeah, and he does never give up. If he does do this comeback, this Istanbul, three down <laughs> for three, he should change his name to Istanbul. Never give, I mean, to be fair, if he, if he does do that, he doesn't need to change his name because it's bang on. If he does that, Will it be one of the best comebacks we've seen in well, the Swiss format wise it will be? Yeah, no question. Have we seen anyone do that before, Julie? You can remember being three games down and coming back to go through. I believe there was somebody in Barcelona that did that. That was one three down. Yeah, they did one you know, and three? One and three, I believe so. It was a, so I, not completely. Was it it Taz? He was two down, I think. He was two I think he down. Was zero yeah. and two and he came back to five and two. Yeah, that's yeah. right. Yeah, so Taz was I, I feel like we would have heard of it if that, yeah. that had happened. Never give up could be the first. So Gotta take it one game at a time. Right here is a very important play. Um, I think if Nanad can get a goal here, this could definitely make a big impact on the match. Needs to find the breakthrough there. Gives it to R9 Ronaldo, oh. and there you go. He gets a little bit of luck. And sometimes you need some luck That's definitely to win the biggest you... of games. It's a real thin margin, I think. Very thin margin. Between success and failure at this highest level. It is all about that play right after um, he conceded that goal, uh, and he's right back in it, 1-1. R9 Ronaldo gets a lucky deflection off of Sergio Ramos. We Classy touch see. by Sergio Ramos. <laughs> we definitely didn't see Sergio Ramos do that uh, in the Champions League final, of course. But no, but he's known to score the odd own goal every once in a while. Every once in a while. Every once in a while. I wonder who, who has the most own goals of all time. Is that Richard Dunn? Maybe. We'll have to look that up. Yeah, I got to look that up. I bet it's a we'll Richard get, Dunn. We'll get Statman Spencer on that. Spencer, do you know who has scored the most own goals? Own goals in real life? Let us know. Oh, Use the hashtag yeah. FIFA I think e in, the, World in the Premier League, I think it's, it's Richard Dunn. Richard, Richard Dunn, Dunn. Yeah. 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 Richard Dunn. Right, do you want to know some scores from some other games? Yes, please. Hit okay, us. Okay, so from a hashtag perspective, it's interesting because Dream has beaten Tim Latka 3 0. Wow. But Ryan is 3 0 down to Alexander. I told you. Sporting okay. Kansas City. That's obviously first leg, but that's interesting. Moving on. 3 0. Uh, FOBT Gray is 1 0 with Dari. Crafty's beating Dragon 1 0. Kurt is 2 1 down to Gorilla. Okay. Uh, what else we got here? We have got MS Dasari 2 0 up against the Brazilian JSSF. Dasari is just. He's on fire. Unbelievable. Uh, Lisangte is 2 3 down to Felipe. Kid Mamito against MCFC Marcus. 1 0 to Kid Mamito right now. Okay. You look surprised. I'm not. Janos is not in good shape. He's 2 0 down to Ishor. Uh, he's I one in three, correct? Yeah, uh, he's struggling big time, Janos. Yeah, Janos is one in three. F2 Tex is 2 0 up against Ajax Joey. Hashtag Harry is 2 0 down to Marla. That's a big game because they're 2 and 2. So if he loses that, he'll be 2 and 3, Harry. Well, That's we hit halftime here between these two men in the elimination game. They're both 1 and 3. Never give up. Score the early goal. Yeah. Dream is also 3 1. He's winning 3 0, so he's looking good to go through. Okay. Um, and Rasik is winning 2-0. So, yeah, I mean, that's all the scores on the doors right now. We're only just hitting half-time in the first leg, though. I'll give you another update, maybe around uh, full-time, if you, if you behave yourself. Thanks, Spencer. I appreciate that. Second half has now begun here on leg one of this elimination game between Never Give Up, who's going from right to left, and the nod from the Columbus crew in MLS. He is in the yellow jerseys of the crew, going from left to right. I think 1-1 was the fair scoreline. Here we go. Oh, Vieira. In the first half. They both took their opportunities, I think. Even though one was luckier than the other. We know at this point one of these two is going out, okay? We know one of Aero and Johnny Grime is going out. Fact. I'm surprised Aero was even in this position. Very similar to PSG Dax. We should talk about what happened to Aero in the final last week at the E-Club World Cup. Reminder of that format, it's a team event. So you have your first leg is played by your teammate, second leg is played by you, and it's aggregate score, right. one on each console. And uh, it was the final. It was between Envy, which is his team, and Bronby from Denmark. First leg, Ice Vogel from uh, the same team as Aero managed to get, a, I believe, a 3-1 lead against Fredberg from Bronby, which meant that all Aero had to do was see that game through. He could even lose by a goal and then win the whole thing. Up against Ustan from uh, Bromby, Ustan won 6 0. Wow. Turned it around to end up winning 7 3. And so Aero kind of had to take that loss on his shoulders a lot because his teammate won the match. So he's come off a serious low uh, last week and he's 
it's, it looks like it's affected his FIFA, to be honest, because he's in an elimination game right now. You have to wonder the mentality, as you say, about that, because usually when you lose, you're only responsible for yourself, but then to let somebody else down who did well, it's got to be heartbreaking. It's definitely especially heartbreaking. Especially in the final when there's so much at stake. It's definitely heartbreaking, especially when you see like the E-Club World Cup and also competitions like Gfinity when it's not only your pride online, it's, you know, someone else's pride and letting someone else down. It just adds an extra weight to you. I mean, we saw a player like, um, it was a, a method player, uh, a Futwiz, um, it was a Futwiz and method player where he lost and he let his uh, teammate Zelonius down and he was just, it was, sorry, Futwiz Pricey, that was his name. And he let his teammate down and you just see it weighed down on him. And I think you could see Never Give Up way down on, on, yeah, it's Never Give Up that just scored way down on Columbus Crew oh. and Nod. What a goal there. For his Pretty classy legs. finish. Nice composure in the box. Nice killer entry pass. When you can get that target forward or one of your, your strikers in a good position and he can attract more than one defender and you can find somebody that's running through, I feel like that's pretty much an automatic goal unless De Gea pulls some magic out of his uh, squeaky bum, you know? I wanted well, to say squeaky bum this whole time. Wait it doesn't squeaky sound bum the same time. when an American says it. No, it doesn't, no. Um, Ninard must be one of the, and I mean this in a nice way, but he must be one of the elder statesmen in the uh, FIFA scene. He looks like he's been around, looks like he's seen a few summers. Yes, he's been around, you know, even in the Bruce Granick days, uh, when Bruce Granick used to dominate the scene. Well, we'll see how Ninard does here with the 35 minutes remaining in leg one in this elimination match between Never Give Up always going to be a battle with somebody with that name as he represents the Columbus crew of MLS. It's nice to see MLS teams having more of a presence in esports. Do you think Nenard's got 10 at the end of his name because that was the year he won the uh, FIWC. He won it in 2010. So think about that. That's eight years ago. So I don't know what he w how old he was when he won it. But yeah, he's been around. Well, maybe it's because it was, yeah. Maybe, oh, it can't be that he was born in 2000. <laughs> 2000. Some of these guys weren't far off being born. 1910. 1910 <laughs> is a bit been of a stretch. The scene before video games. Maybe it is. Oh, great ball. Oh, oh sweat Pull that, it. sweat sweat that, baby. Sweat Gotta that, sweat yes. it. Let's go. That is Don't why he won it. About it. Let's go. That's, that's FIFA 13 right there. Part of the game. That is FIFA 12 and 13. What a sweat. Nice. It starts with a great through ball. A sweaty goal against your friends. Yes or no? In yes. The right I, I say yes. It's definitely Everyone okay. who says yes already does it, so. The only people that complain about sweaty goals are the ones that give it up. Chew, you understand that? Because you're like, oh, you scored a sweaty goal. It's not scoring because you're losing. That's the only reason you say that. So yes, please let us know in the chat your thoughts on that or on any other social media stuff. Use the hashtag FIFA eWorld Cup and then tag EA Sports FIFA if you will. So we're out of the pause now. It is 2-2. 18 minutes left to go in leg one between Never Give Up, who's in the red, and the Nod, who's wearing the crew jerseys. There's still leg two, but getting a goal here before this one ends could be vital in them securing the overall win. Oh my God, look at the chat. Everybody's saying yes, that they were sore, swear to go against their friends. You guys are terrible, man. How about your friends are just really, really not happy with you? Oh, he's done it. Never give up. Staying true to his name. <laughs> Already going to Jimmy Cringe Dad on day one. Shout out to all the big uh, Jimmy Cringe Dad fans out there. I'm here to create cringe and be your dad. That's how I roll. Okay, 12 minutes left. In this leg one. Oh, oh. what to save. Nice to see Ter Stegen get a little run out. For never give up instead yeah, well, of De Gea. It's interesting choice, Chief. Oh, no, team of the season, Ter Stegen, man. That guy is destroying me right now in Weekend League. I, He's making these crazy double saves that I... I like, my neighbors are getting mad because I'm just yelling at my Xbox because I think one thing about him is I think he's got really high speed. So when you're on a one-on-one, -on -one, if he comes out um, on a one-on-one, -on -one, he comes out really quickly. And then we see some guys in the crowd there. This is the moment they've all been waiting for, the elimination still have a lot to learn. And they, if they don't take it as an opportunity to learn, then they've missed out on the whole thing. As you say, it's some life lessons and then just about their character themselves. I mean, yeah. I, I don't know. Sometimes I just lose in front of champions. <laughs> don't learn anything. Yeah. I'd rather go guns blazing. If I'm going to go for it and lose by three, then I go, go for it at least. But remember, these guys are going to be, if they stay in, they're still going to be in this scenario every game until the end of the Swiss format. That's because they let up those three, those three losses straight away. So they're always going to have to keep doing this. So if you go gung-ho every time, eventually it's probably going to come up against you. That's, that's true, but it also gives them 
the opportunity to be cutting their teeth with that mindset. So if Never Give Up comes through, he's now won two games in an elimination situation. So then when he plays somebody else at two and three, I think it gives him the advantage. Because if you come off a two and two and you lose to go two and three, you're feeling pretty sad for yourself and maybe not in the right mentality, whereas Never Give Up is yeah, if like, you've got the momentum. Been surviving. Yeah. True. All right, so here it is. The first half of the second leg. They're not in the famous Columbus Crew yellow jerseys. Going from right to left and never give up in the red. Going from left to right. And has got some work to do. He's a goal down. Good entry pass. I think it took him about the first 30 minutes of that first leg to find a pass in that area of the field. Unfortunately, he just gave it away. Yeah, I think he still needs to utilize more width. I know he's still trying to attack down the middle, but if he can move it out wide, I think there's some opportunity there. I mean, that's how the game works in real life. Definitely going to work in this game as well. The mechanics are built that way. If the space is wide, you play it wide, and that'll open up space in the middle. Oh, I smell a goal. I smell there a goal. I smell a goal. I don't know why. <laughs> I have that sixth sense, that spidey sense of a goal. Never give up is looking He's now happy scored the first right goal now. in both games. And then, you know, decide what to happen. But fortunately, he did concede a goal, so now he's going to go all out. I mean, I think he wanted to play a bit more That's what I thought first. he should have done from the beginning. No, Just but. my two cents. All right, we got uh, updates on scores with Statman Spen. What do you got for us? Okay, uh, Lightning Panda Dragon against Crafty is currently 5-3 to Dragon. Uh, that's loss. overall over the two legs? That's, that's still going, yeah, that's okay. overall. Okay. Uh, loss from Spain against Megabit is 3-all. Enrasic is 4-2 up against Remy Martin. Uh, IX Joey versus F2 Tex is very perfectly poised at three goals apiece. All right, that's a good uh, one. Let's see what else we've got here. Um, hashtag Ryan... Sorry, hashtag Dreamer is 5-2 uh, up against Tim Latka. Uh, Aero FIFA is 5-2 up against Johnny Grime. That is an elimination game. Snip Guy is beating Mino 3-1. That's also an elimination game. So Mi uh, Mino could be, or Mino, should we say, could be going. MCFC Marcus is 1-0 against Kid Mamito. Uh, Janos is 3-1 down to Ichor. Ajax Danny is 4-2 up against Olympic Leon Rafsu. Gabinho is 3-1 up against PSG Fiddle. And uh, hashtag Ryan is losing 3-2 to Alexander. He's got two goals back. All right. That's, That's tight. respectable. And then finally, uh, I believe hashtag Harry is also 3-2 down to Marlon. What's, uh, That's, what's the current uh, Gorilla? Didn't get an update on that one. Didn't get an update on that one. It was 2-1 last time I saw okay, from Gr to gorilla. gorilla. Yeah. All right. Now let's take a look at the box here. You can see it on the screen. That is Never Give Up's coach and his lovely wife. They're here to support him here in Amsterdam. Clearly, they don't want him to get up so or give up so that he can continue to have a good time here and still compete tomorrow, qualification day. That might be the goal that does it in the 24th minute of leg two. 2-0 in this game, but 5-2 overall. Never give up of survival day. There he is. Love it. They got their, their heart hands going which is probably apt because Gareth Bale does that all the time and he's the man of the moment. There you go, doing it again, they're on fire. Yes, yeah. they love it. I thought Gareth Bale actually trademarked that though, <laughs> so they can expect an invoice <laughs> in the post. Uh, really quick about Gareth Bale, do you think he makes a move this summer? I mean, if you're gonna, the guy's won three, or is it four? Yes, four Champions Leagues in the five seasons he's been there. He's not been started a couple of times. He's scored multiple goals in finals. Um, he needs to be going somewhere where he's the first name on the team sheet, doesn't he? Really? I, I think it's incredible that after a performance like that, that one of the first things that either gets asked of him or one of the first things that he says is that, well, I'm not playing that much, and if I'm not in Zidane's plans. Like, right after winning the Champions League, that that's on the tip of your tongue. But equally, he hasn't started in the Champions League final. That's I get I know, I get it. And that, that's, I guess, given that he scored two goals, even though one was a gift, he still scored the, an incredible game winner. It's kind of a, you know... A statement to Zidane, as this is a statement here for never give up. He scores again. I might have to say, uh, I don't know how you say goodbye in Dutch. Um, <laughs> I was trying to figure it out. Can somebody help me here? Let me know in the chat how you say goodbye in Dutch, because I think we're going to be saying that to Nanad from the Columbus crew. It's going to, we're going to see both of these guys get through. Yeah. There is never give up. He won his game seven to four. So he is now two and three, and I actually think he's got a lot of momentum heading in to qualification day.